This is part one of a part one and part two video, so yeah. Hi, this is my first video that I talk for more than one second, and this is my first coasted talk, so I'll talk about myself, and yeah. So my home park is Carowinds, and today I will be talking, so I will talk about the coasters. Disclaimer, last time I went to Carowinds was in 2021 to 2020. 2000, 2022 maybe i forgot well yeah i went to 2022 and not 21 i don't remember really so yeah the new area also known as area north Carolina. i will talk about the area and what used to be there and based on my personal experience and opinion this is what i went to yes i will talk about what used to be in north Carolina before now moving on number 14 Vortex. The reason Vortex is this low is the only reason because, well, the times, the only times that I rode Vortex, it was low and painful for my legs. Well, we're in pain, well, they were in pain during the ride, so that's why it's this low. If it was converted into a full this, I'd probably get put it higher. Number 13. Woodstock Express. This is different than the one, no, that's, this is different, more different, this is different than the one at Cedar Point. I struggled on that. So yeah. This one is actually made out of wood. It's a wood coaster, but it's a very low layout. It's like a very boring one, guys. It's just it's literally in Camp Snoopy. What do you expect? So yeah. Number twelve, same thing as number eleven, but pretty good for his age. What is this ride? Flipping none other than so the thing about number 12 is that actually it was going to be well Carolina Gold Rusher but yeah change of plans what's that you can keep it as a number you can keep number 12 as Carolina Gold Rusher the title of the list and actually it is number 7 so yeah and mistake on me yeah I know but yeah number 11 watch it I don't like it, but I'm willing to give it another chance. It's a while now, so that's why. <laughs> Number 10. Flying Crowbar. Cobras. I said crowbars, alright. Crowbar. I forgot. Flying Cobras. It is pretty rough, but ever since it got the new restraints, it has gotten better. If I were in this, while it still had the classic restraints, it'd be lower. Yeah. So, now we're at number 9. Kitty Hawk. It's pretty blim, but with no real layout and no real problems, so yeah, that's what it's here. Heard, it's kind of rough, yet it has a better layout than Kitty Hawk, so yeah. Number 7, Carolina, Gold Rusher, yeah, I talked to, I talked about this in number 12. So yeah, it's a nice break from the intense ride and smacks you in the face with air. Yeah. Alright, number 6 is Carolina Cyclone. It's going... Going at a very fun pace, and yeah, really, it's it has not that good of a layout, but the restraints make it bearable. So, and it's a little better than other the other ones below it. So yeah, number five, Nighthawk. It's a weird type of ride, going through the loops. <laughs> I had my goofy self tripping balls, not gonna lie, but yeah, number four, Copper Headshot. Good launch, but very good launch and very fun, but really the top three are better, in my opinion. So number three is Afterman. Very intense, but it's lacking in the height. It's not as intense, well, it's as intense as, I'd say, Intimidator, but with actual inversions. So number two is Intimidator, same thing, but Intimidator, it just has a short layout. But it makes up for it with the airtime hills, the humongous airtime hills. So number one, Wilderness Row. I'm just joking. It's Fury 325. The reason I like Fury more than Intimidator is because Fury has a fuller layout. And really, that's the only reason. Yeah, it's not a good reason, but yeah. So that's the end of my list. My name is Christopher. And my next video is probably out and probably not to when I'm recording this. It's not out.